The ungrateful men, the leper, bald, and blind man. In Sahih Bukhari, Sharif Hadith, Prophet Muhammad wasallam told the story about three men who were very poor with physical problems. The first man was a leper who had a very scary skin problem. The second was an ugly bald man without any hair. And the last man was blind. All the people of the town did not like them and no one came close to them. One day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent an angel to those three men. First, he went to the person who had a very bad skin problem. The angel asked the man what he wanted from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The man requested to remove all of his skin problems and wanted a healthy big camel so he could make money. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, all of his skin diseases were gone. The angel also gave him a beautiful pregnant camel. The angel then went to the ugly bald man and asked him what he wanted from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The bald man requested the angel to remove all of his hair problems and wanted a strong cow so he could make money. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, all of his hair problems were gone. The angel also gave him a beautiful pregnant cow. Lastly, the angel went to the blind man and asked what he wanted from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The blind man requested to cure his blindness so that he could see and he wanted a strong big sheep so he could make money. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, he started to see with good eyesight. And the angel also gave him a beautiful pregnant sheep. With Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings, those three men got rich day by day. And after many years, the first man had a lot of camels. The second man had many cows and the third man had many sheep. The people of the town also stopped making fun of them. After many years later, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to test them. So Allah sent the same angel to those three men. First, the angel pretended to have very bad skin problems and went to the first man who also had the very bad and ugly skin disease before. The angel tested him by saying that he lost everything and requested to have a camel so that he could continue on his journey. The man refused to help the angel and did not give anything to him. The angel reminded the man that before he was also very poor and he also had a very bad skin disease. But the man became arrogant and lied that he got all the camels from his father. The angel warned him and told him that if he was lying, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would take away all of his blessings. So he lost everything. Then the angel pretended to be a bald man and then went to the man who was bald before. The angel said the same thing to that man, but that man also did not want to help him and lied about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's blessings. So Allah took away this man's blessings just like the first man. Finally, the angel pretended to be a blind man and went to the man who used to be blind and requested help from him like the other two men. This man was very humble and kind. He told the angel that he used to be blind and poor, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with good eyesight and many sheep. So he told the angel that he could take whatever he needed. The angel became very happy and told the man that this was all a test. Since he stayed humble and wanted to help others, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala became very happy and continued to bless him even more. This story reminds us of verse 78 in Surah Al-Mu'minun, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
Allah created our ears, eyes, and hearts, but we are not grateful enough to Him. This shows us the importance of being humble, kind, and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all of His amazing blessings. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept us as good, grateful Muslims and give us the ability to help others and make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy. Ameen. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum. Join us in this great dawah work and get countless of rewards during the month of Ramadan by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly supporter. And inshallah, Allah will give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter. Zazakallah, and we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that all of you are safe during this time. And until next time, Assalamu alaikum.